Video number three. This is a Bonds Oleum story. This is my Friday five videos, the third video of five. My Bonds Oleum story. Back when I was in high school, I worked at a pizza place. It was great. It was a great place. It, it came about, moved in near my house actually back in the late 70s. And I used to fart around in there. They'd let me back and run around there back in the day. Anyway, they then moved about a mile away. But in high school, I got a job there. My cousin and I got a job there, sort of working, you know, kind of bussing, washing dishes, helping out, you know, making the sauce, cutting the cheese. You know what I'm saying? All kinds of things. So, when I was there, there was one night we were there, and, you know, I worked with... What happened is, is there was usually one pizza maker on the weekend, there were two then, maybe, and then a guy like me, which is kind of like the bar back to a restaurant, sort of. I do all the dishes and everything. And, uh, and eat pizza. Sometimes I'd burn a pizza, on, and I'd help cook the pizza. Sometimes by accident, I'd be like, oh, I burned the pizza. And if you've ever pulled a fresh pizza out of a 500-degree pizza oven with the slate in there, the cheese that's totally burnt, there's nothing like taking Parmesan or mozzarella and pulling it right off the top of a pizza like that. Delectable. But anyway, so on to the Bonzolium story. What happened was is there was a fellow uh, that worked there, and sometimes we used to play a game called Pinners. And I might have mentioned this in another video. But Pinners is, and most people probably know, but I'll explain anyway. You go up against a wall, right? So you're standing maybe out in a parking lot, a small parking lot or whatever, but there's a wall there, usually like a school you know, a place hopefully where there's not a whole lot of windows. And what you do is you get a tennis ball or a rubber ball, usually a tennis ball, and you throw it at the ground, and it bounces quickly up into the wall and then comes back. I'm sure most people have done it, at least American teenagery. So the ball comes come back. So somebody's close to the wall, they're batting. The fielder, the opposite team's out there, and if he catches the ball on a fly, it's an out. One bounce, I think it's a single, or it's a home run if it bounces at a certain... Anyway, that's immaterial, kind of. For the story but what happened was there was cars parked out behind this pizza place so my turn throw the ball pops up and it goes and it smashes god we might have been using a 14 inch softball to tell you the truth a canvas one we weren't using like a 12 inch sewn one like a baseball but it was i think you know what i it was a 14 inch softball actually threw it it was gonna be a homer and it went and it smashed the rear view mirror on a station wagon that was sitting there. You know, like a white one with paneling. You know what I mean? Like probably, this was 1986. So probably like a 1984 station wagon, right? The rear view mirror goes to pieces. Of course, being 16 years old or 17, me and God, what's his name, Daryl? We saw it, we're like, <gasps> running the pizza joint, right? It's the way it goes. Okay. Fast forward about a month, maybe three weeks. <laughs> It was a Saturday night. It was a Saturday, I think. No, man, I don't know. Whatever the hell night it was. But it was summery, right? It was warm out. No, no, it wasn't warm out. Cause they... So what happens is, is I would come out with the garbage. I have to throw the garbage out. And they had these big industrial size, huge garbage bags. And I was pretty strong back in the day. And, you know, filled with all kinds of stuff. And you got it. And I mean, there were tall, huge bags. And I would carry these two bags two at a time, from the door of the pizza place, which kind of went out into the parking lot sort of alley. It was an alley, so there's a building on one side and a building on the other side, in a long alley. And when I'd come out, I'd kind of pop out, and right around the corner was the dark alley. Like, it looked a lot like the alley. If you've seen No Country for Old Men, do you remember when uh, Llewellyn uh, has just shot Javier Bardem? up when he gets injured and he runs over to the car to see if he's there and there's a little blood trail down the alley and you see that dark alley it looked just like that so i look you know just in case because i mean it's, it was not the best name i mean not a terrible neighborhood but if crimes were to be committed in my town this would be the area right so i come out and i sort of look down the alley nothing it's a big telephone pole there too so i look down the alley grab the bags start walking i get five feet toward walking toward the big dumpsters and suddenly there's an arm around me. Like literally. And the guy's hands are about this big. And I look to my right and there's a big scary looking guy. Now this is why I know it wasn't really summer because he had sort of a trench coat on. And he's like, hi. I just wanted to tell you. Um, he goes, you know, you're the fella that broke my mirror about three weeks ago, aren't you? And I'm carrying both these bags, you know. I'm like, yes, sir. He goes, ah, he goes, I said, listen, I'll pay for it. I said, whatever it costs, I'll give you 100 bucks. He goes, no, 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 no. 
He goes, and he stops me, and he looks at me, and he goes, I just wanted you to know that I knew it was you that did it. And he looked at me for a second. He goes, good night. And he walks over to, at this point, he wasn't driving a station wagon. If I remember, there was a big black Cadillac he got into, and he drove off. This fellow was the owner of a, uh, like a um, reception hall. And he was gangstery. <laughs> and I just remember that. I just wanted you to know that I knew it was you that did it. So that might not be the, that might, compared to some stories, it might be kind of lame. But I can tell you, it really put the fear of God in me back in the day. Anyway, so that is my Bonzolium story. In my third of five videos for this Friday. Thank you for watching. More videos coming. The two more videos are coming right now.